Jennifer Wallace is a journalist who often writes about family issues. Jennifer, thanks. Welcome back to our table Thanks. for today. So what do you think about SNL's suggestion to, to handle problems? Oh, I like love it. I'm going to bring my iPhone and keep it out in the background for any emergency <laughs> situations. It's oh, funny. Everybody has those sort of moments. Yep. So it's how you get out of them. So Some of us have them more often than yeah. others. Right. And, and the faux pas just keep coming and coming and coming. So like what... What is a person to do? What are the tricks of the trade to yeah. avoid those landmines? So a few, of, well, to avoid them, well, first I'll tell you what you do when you're in the middle of one. Yeah. So the Ooh. first thing I love to do is pretend your kids are having a fight in the background. <laughs> So sorry, I think I hear trouble. Oh. So that's that's my one. But you can only use that once, right, mm -hmm. in a dinner conversation. So then if someone else is, is sort of prodding and pressing one of your triggers and you're afraid you're going to get into it at the Thanksgiving table, one of the things I like to do is, you know, excuse myself for just a minute. I'll be right back. Go to the bathroom. Wait a few minutes. Think of something else to change the topic mm -hmm. that will have that person talk about them. Run Sit away. back down. <laughs> run away, but come back with a strategy like, Uncle Bob, I've been dying to hear about your beekeeping. How did you get involved in that? And sort of defer to them. Yeah, change the subject change if you can. Subject. And don't engage. Is, is don't it, engage. Is it ever okay, though, to just, like, dig in there and have that conversation? I, I can know, see that happening at I, your I house. so <laughs> know so many families who love the that sort of spark of debate that happens uh -huh. at the dinner table. I think as long as it doesn't get personal and doesn't, you know, we hold our political and religious beliefs so personally, they're yeah. like a part of our identity. And so when you're threatening somebody and you're challenging them, they could perceive that wrong. So as long as you challenge them in a light way and you make it fun, Thanksgiving is about being together and not winning a, a national debate. You know, it's not it's not to win points. It's it, to bond. And, and you want it to be pleasant, and it can get very unpleasant. I mean, uh, you know, growing up in my house, there was a family member who had some very strong political beliefs, and it would always devolve into an unpleasant situation. So we would avoid it. We would completely yes. change the subject, as, as you suggested. But, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that it is a a dynamic thing. I mean, it, people believe things and then they want to talk about them and they haven't seen you in a while. And they're drinking alcohol yes. and those inhibitions sort of like That's fall right. away. So uh, what I would say is if you can, to, you know, distance yourself from the conversation and use it as mm. opposition research, right? If you're talking to Uncle Bob and he has views very different than yours, channel your inner Charlie Rose. Ask him questions. How did he get to that? Why is he thinking that? <laughs> and instead of imposing your views, because you're not going to change his mind, right? Uh -huh. He's holding them so close to his heart. Find out a little bit more about why he thinks that way. All right. Let me, let me, there's something that's happening more and more now. You see it at restaurants, mm -hmm. but also at Thanksgiving dinner tables. Say you have uh, friends, nieces, nephews who have children there, yes. and they're, they're playing with their little tablet at the table itself. How do you gently... I think if you're the hostess, you can say we're having a tech-free Thanksgiving dinner. We have a charging station in the other room. That's and it. then enlist right. your brother and sister to right. police their children. All I right. could never police okay. someone else's child. All right. Jennifer Wallace, thank you so much.